Hey, welcome to Lakeshore RV Center. Let's take a look at your new Montana Legacy Edition 3931 FB fifth wheel. Up front, we've got this beautiful molded fiberglass front cap with LED lights built in, a mirror to look down into the bed of the truck to hook up to your road armor pin box. Coming up front in the storage, we have your 200 amp hour lithium ion batteries, a quick battery disconnect, and a separate disconnect for you. Coming in around the side, we've got one of your side cameras and the auto leveling system. You will have a little quick reference for directions on how to operate that, and I'll also show you when you get here to hook up. Inside one of your two 30 pound propane tank base, the other one's on the other side. Got a valve to switch which one you want it to go to. Nice big pass through storage with the in command system. You have your central vacuum, and then we also have your inverter and a disconnect for your solar panel, as well as the 15 amp controller. In the service bay here, we'll have exterior shower where a blue coil hose will quick connect, and that is in the camper as well. Winterizing and bypassing for the water heater. Hook up for the fresh water, and then you'll switch the valve to either fill your onboard holding tank or to run off of that pressurized water. You will need to use your water pump if you're running off of your holding tanks. Black tank sewage flush, times two, and a black and gray tank pull valve, as well as low point drain valves for your hot and cold water. And hook up for the key TV system. I'll send you some more information that describes it really well from Keystone. Access to your 50 amp service cable on that power cord reel. Down below we have a hook uh, spot to hide your sewer hose one of your drain valves for a black and gray tank. There are two more pull valves as well. Whoop. Try closing that again one-handed. That's always fun. G-rated tires with the tire pressure management system on there for you. Frameless windows on the Montana. There is a low point drain valve down below a little white guy right there. That is going to be for your onboard holding tank for your fresh water if you want to let that all go before you take off on the road. Spare tire, you can see it over there. That's accessible on the campground side. Rear molded fiberglass cap with the Legacy Edition as well as your backup camera. Roof ladder to access uh, your roof and keep it clean and maintained. Two inch accessory hitch on the back. Slide out's got your power awning with LED lights. Six point hydraulic auto leveling all across the front. Marine grade speakers. Kind of see your solar panel up there. That 200 watt system. And access to your 12 gallon, or excuse me, 16 gallon water heater. And there is a little blue line right there. That's going to be a quick connect for a propane if you want to hook up a grill. Ah, finally inside the pretty parts. Not that the outside isn't gorgeous, but wow, look at this. All right, let's go all the way up front and we'll work our way back. Up front, we have your beautiful front bathroom with the three panel glass shower door on the one piece shower with little sit stool foot flush on your porcelain toilet you do have a max fan vent here and up above and little bench seat does lift up for storage front wardrobe closet double vessel sink beautiful size medicine cabinet little towel rack for you. Coming into the master bedroom, additional wardrobe storage, plus the wardrobe closet on the far wall. Touch lamps above the bed. You also have uh, shelving with utility outlets and USB ports. King size bed. 
storage underneath with your two um, folded upholstered chairs for the dinette and that blue bag is going to be the hoses and accessories for your central back. You do have a double-sided mattress. One side's firm and one is soft. So pick the one you like. With the Montana, we do get a TV in the bedroom with the Legacy Edition. We also get the WineGuard Wi-Fi booster installed. Here is your second AC. This little guy is going to tell the in-command system the temperature of the room. Check inside this wardrobe real quick. Down below on the stairs, we have motion sensor LED light, fuse panel and breaker box. Coat hanger in the cabinet above. And the one above that is going to be the business end of your camper. So we have the fresh gray and black water holding tanks, 12 volt blankets to keep them warm. Some overhead lighting. Ceiling fan, readout for your um, voltage on your batteries and solar, which I'm not running right now. Uh, surge protector that's built in on the Legacy Edition. The heated blanket for your um, ion lithium batteries, excuse me. And then we have the in-command system. We'll put the code in. That's going to allow you to quickly turn on and off interior exterior lights. Work the water pump, water heater, slide outs, awnings, uh, prep for your generator, Havac, um, or if you have generator, excuse me, uh, which we don't on this one. Havac is going to be for your front AC, and then you'll be able to go toggle through and find your rear AC. That's where the furnace settings will be also. I'll send you a whole nother video really going in depth on the in-command system. Half bathroom down below with a crazy amount of storage. We do have a max fan vent with AC in here as well. Foot flush again on your porcelain toilet. More controls for the max fan vent in the kitchen. We have your 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator that'll run off of that inverter. Huge pantry closet. We do have soft clothes on the cabinet trees. New Furion, higher output, three burner cooktop, and massive oven underneath. Convection microwave, and then we have the pop-up utilities. Center island with solid surface countertops and stainless steel sink. They added this cool little rack on the bottom to help with drying your dishes. Additional pantry. Do you have that motion sensor LED lights as well? Put a smart TV in it, JBL, with the subwoofer in the back. Beautiful cobblestone sofa that will make out into a queen size bed. Extra large theater seating. You have some controls there for kicking it out and relaxing. And then the armrest comes down in the middle with the cup holders and a little quick open on the power station. Dinette with your two upholstered chairs. There's a little kickstand to hold those down and in place. Dual blinds on all of your window shades. And your second AC. 12 volt ceiling fan. New ambient lighting over your island. And that is a quick look at your new Montana 3931 FB fifth wheel. I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow and watch you take home your beautiful new camper.